welcome everybody. Tonight, your neighborhood good golf dealer joins the Gulf Oil Companies in presenting the sixth in a new series of programs. Reviews, musical comedies, and dramatic shows, all the varied entertainment forms of Hollywood. So welcome all of you to the Motion Picture Star's own program. Welcome to the Gulf Screen Guild Show. With Olivia de Havilland, William Bakewell, Clarence Derwin, Akim Tamirov, Spencer Tracy, Oscar Bradley, and Hollywood's favorite master of ceremonies, George Murphy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the sixth of the Motion Picture Star's own programs, the Gulf Screen Guild Show. As you know, we present a different type show with a different cast of stars each week, all of them written, directed, and acted by the greatest names in the motion picture industry for the benefit of the Motion Picture Relief Fund. Last week, it was a review. Next week, a musical comedy starring Jeanette MacDonald, Robert Taylor, and Charles Winninger. Tonight, it's a drama. Three Days March, directed by Frank Lloyd and written by Lawrence Stallings under the musical direction of Oscar Bradley. Our story tonight was taken from the journal of a war correspondent. It is not a judgment of war, and it holds no brief for or against any existing or past governments, but merely sets its scene on a turbulent, war-torn stage and brings into sharp focus the people sometimes called secret agents to whom war is only a device to be used for their own selfish interests and profit. In tonight's story, we meet Janet Taylor, played by Olivia de Havilland, Joe Ransom, played by Spencer Tracy, Akim Tamirov as Ahmed, William Bakewell as Jenkins, and Clarence Derwin as Markham. The time might be November, one year, five, or ten years ago. The place, a spot like Djibouti, gateway to Ethiopia, jumping-off place of civilization. The crowded, sweaty little town swarms with soldiers, correspondents, thieves, and spies. Lights. Music. Curtain. Does anyone here speak English? I, I, I speak English, Missy. I speak English. Yes. All right, if you can get my bags away from the other quarter. Oh, that's easy, Mem Sahib. Hey, kill him, kill him. Get away, you dog. Oh, I'll get away. You don't have to kill him. <laughs> I don't have to, but I would like it. <laughs> oh, only three pieces of luggage, Mem Sahib. Don't forget that typewriter. Oh, sure, I have it. Now come this way. Where do you stay in Djibouti? friend in Cairo recommended the Regis Hotel. Oh. Oh, yes, yes, Regis, friend in Cairo. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, Regis is just the hotel for you, Mem Sahib. It is just the right hotel. This way, Mem Sahib. This way. The best rooms in this hotel are on the second floor. Don't you, uh, don't you guess register at the, at the desk? Oh, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> but I have reserved a room for you. You, well, how did you know I was coming? Oh, a whisper, even a thought travels fast out here. Miss Taylor, this way, please. You even know my name. Oh, <laughs> of course. This, I'm sure, is the room you want. Thank you. Enter, please. What is it, Ahmed? Miss Taylor, she has arrived, Sahib. Oh, I've been wondering when you turn up, Miss Taylor. Sit down, please. Close the door, Ahmed. Yes, Sahib. You're younger and more attractive than I expected, but that's good for the job at hand. Just what is this job? Didn't they tell you in Cairo? Not in detail. I buy and sell information. Hmm. For any particular government? No, I sell to the highest bidder. I understand you're a newspaper reporter. No, I was a newspaper reporter. I... I lost my job. That's why I'm here. I think you'll serve our purpose, don't you, Ahmed? Oh, sure, Sahib. Now, Miss Taylor, here on this map is the town of Biridawa. And over here, three days' march away, is the desert village of Bulale. Between the two, there are a number of fords across the Fan Fan River. Over one ford, they will move men, supplies, and munitions for the next and deciding battle of this war. Where do I come in? 
you must find that ford. We have scouted the country, but it's too thickly wooded for aerial observation. The job must be done on foot. Ahmed will travel with you. Well, suppose I get the information you want. How do I transmit it? Continue on to Bulale. Send it on shortwave wireless as a news story to some American paper. I'll pick it up off the air. <sighs> Sounds like a nice, easy assignment. Not so difficult, Miss Taylor. Fortunately, a fellow countryman of yours is making the same trip. Joe Ransom, a Newsdale cameraman. Now, I think if you and Ahmed went to Diridawa, you could meet Ransom and find a way to make him useful without arousing his suspicions. You must follow my instructions. <laughs> Uh, could you gentlemen tell me... Well, uh, it's a mirage. Jenkins, am I going nuts or is she a Caucasian? Why don't you touch her and see if she's real? Don't pay any attention to him, sister. He's a sound man in love with the sound of his own voice. My name's Joe Ransom. What's yours? Janet Taylor. Is that a makeup kit or a typewriter? Well, I use it for both. I make up little pieces for the New York Globe. Oh, a sob sister, huh? Is this your first trip outside the city limits? No, they sent me to Staten Island once. I suppose you're here to do the woman's angle of the war. Yes, I'm going through to Bulali. Well, you haven't got a chance. How come? I'm on my way now to Adesawawa to pick up a passport to take my party through. It's taken weeks, a thousand miles of red tape, and ten years off my life to get it. They'll never listen to a girl. Your train's starting, Ransom. Okay. I'll see you next week when I get back from Adesawawa, sister. So long, Jake. So long. Sit on that equipment till I get back. <laughs> sure. Hmm? Is he always that helpful? He'd help you if he could, but he's got other things to worry about. Well, I've got a collection of cans of film. Good luck to you, sister. Well, ma'am, Saeed? Yes, Ahmed? What about Ransom? He'll never let us join his party. No? <laughs> well, let us suppose, ma'am, Saeed, that he found both of us a day's march out of the Adawa. Hmm? Alone. <laughs> it's so simple. A country woman lost on the desert, young, beautiful, helpless... <laughs> That's the way, Mem Sahib, and I know just the spot he will find us. How in the name of heaven could you let yourself get stranded in the middle of the desert? What do you think this is? Now, wait a minute, Mr. Ransom. Is it my fault if my car burned up? What happened to your porters? They ran off last night. Only Ahmed stayed. Yeah, you sure you didn't send them away? Well, why would I do that? So a guy named Ransom would have to pick you up and carry you along to Bulali. I suppose you think I burned the car and all my supplies to hone in on your assignment. I wouldn't put it past you. Okay, I guess I'll have to give you a lift. You don't have to give me anything. I wouldn't be surprised if I took you up on that. Now, why not hop up on a camel and cut out the acting? Go on, go on, sister, hurry up. This is pretty bad stuff, Joe. You know what the natives think of unattached women in this man's war. Why, they might... It's too late to worry about that now. We got one. All right, let's move. Bimshi, Bimshi. <laughs> Too hot to sleep in your tent? No, I... I just wanted to see what the desert was like at night. Don't go too far from the fire. There's a lot of things out there in the dark you wouldn't want to meet. What? Well, things the fire holds back. Lions, jackals, men, maybe. Are we getting near the fighting? Yeah. The trails must be pretty well patrolled. And the sky, too. Well, we can put out the fire if we hear a plane. How do you like that music? I don't know. Here in a desert like this, it's... It's kind of frightening, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, kind of. Oh, before I forget, I'm, uh... I'm sorry for the way I sounded off this afternoon. But you see, this trip means a lot to me. I've been trying to get through for weeks. Even now, I'm not sure I'll make it. Didn't you get your passport? Yeah, but it doesn't mean much beyond Bulali. That country's run by a lot of minor chiefs. They may say no dice. Then your whole trip would be for nothing? Well, that's the breaks. This is a rotten game we're in. I wouldn't give it up for anything. Well, you can have my share as soon as this mess is over. I'm going back to the States and live like a human being. Oh, you'll die of that stagnation. Yeah. Say, for 15 years, I've had a ringside seat at every major catastrophe to the human race. I've seen it burn and bleed, get blown up and drown. I'm sick of it. I want to realize again that people do other things. Go to church on Sunday. Listen to the radio for fun and not to find out when they're going to be bombed. Stagnation. This is stagnation. Ransom! Ransom! 
plane coming over. Put out the fire. Scatter it. He's headed this way. He's seen the fire. Move out. Scatter it. Look out. Here she comes. Jake, Jake, let the fire go. Run. Get that plane out of the way. Get back, Jake. Get back. Jake, here. Jake. Jake. Wait, Joe. We may come back. Oh, she does. Jake. He's Jake. over here, Sahib. Jake. 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 Are you all right, Jake? Jake, are you? Uh-oh. Get my kid. Out. Give me that flask in my tent. You will not need your kid, Sahib. It's too bad. Well, perhaps he did not feel it when it happened. Joe, what is it? What are you doing? Go back. Get out of here. Oh. Great pity. It is the will of Allah. Yeah. Yeah, it's the will of Allah. Maybe it'd be better to keep Allah out of this and put the blame where it belongs. And a lot of guys who don't tip their hats to Allah or any other god. The ones who don't even have a cause to fight for. The informers who buy and sell to the highest bidder. They're the ones who killed Jenk, not the kid in the monkey suit. Yeah, they killed him. Killed him and got paid for it. Curtain has just fallen on the first act of your Screen Guild play, Three Days March, starring Spencer Tracy, Olivia de Havilland, and Akim Tamirov. We're happy to bring you these Screen Guild shows, and we're happy at this time to bring you a word from the organization who makes this weekly visit possible. In grandfather's time, a man had to take good care of old Dobbin if he wanted to go sleigh riding the next day. Well, the modern automobile does a lot more for us than Dobbin ever could, and yet it demands a lot less care. Just look after a few simple things... And your car will be your faithful servant all winter long. For instance, be sure that your car is running on a real high-test gasoline. Gulf Nonox Ethyl Gasoline. Down south where the weather is milder, Gulf Nonox ends motor knocks in both old and new cars. And up north where the weather is cold, Gulf Nonox starts instantly. Now that means less battery drain, less chance of a towing bill, and more economical performance right through the month of February. So there's the whole story of high-test Gulf No Knocks. It ends slow starts, and it ends motor knocks. Drive in tomorrow and ask your good Gulf dealer for Gulf No Knocks, the knock-proof gasoline. This is the second act of Three Days March. Written by Lawrence Stallings and directed by Frank Lloyd. Starring Olivia de Havilland, Hakim Tamirov, and Spencer Tracy. It is dawn on the third day of the march through the desert to Bulali. Joe Ransom's small newsreel party has just reached a ford in the Fan Fan River. Don't let your camel drink here, Achman. Ride along with us and we'll stop on the other side of the river. Yes, Say, Branson. I'm sick of hearing camel bells. Will we get to Bulali tonight? Yeah, sure, if we step on it. You want to send a dispatch from there to your paper? Can I? Yeah, sure, by field wireless. 500 word limit. You can start off with first white woman gets through the front. Or your boss might kick through with a bonus. Yes, a bonus. Yeah, but don't get too literal about times and places. I'm on trust here to censor my own dispatches so they don't tip off any troop movements. I'll be glad to let you read my story. You might give poor Jenk a little send-off. Tell how it happened. He's got folks back in the States. It might help. Yes, sir. Thanks. I'll do that. Imshi, Imshi, keep moving. Allah is good to us, Mem Sahib. What do you mean, Ahmed? Why, this is the fort the Sahib in Djibouti sent us to find. You can see by the sand that many men and many camels have crossed here. <laughs> And now, Sahib, ran some arrangements for us to use the wireless. Ahmed, we're not sending information to Djibouti. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I understand. Oh, sure. You feel a woman's pity for the accident that happened to Jenkins two nights back, eh? I didn't know what I was getting into. But now that I do know, I'm through. Oh, no, ma'am, Sahib. No. Your job will be finished when you include a few words of code in your message from Bulali. The Sahib is waiting for you. You are true. <laughs> oh, no, ma'am, say no. <laughs> oh, 
Let's get off the road and let gang of soldiers go by. Two lollies full of them. Is something big going to break? Yeah, yeah. Up ahead somewhere. Say, Joe, what is it with us? Are we quarantined or something? They shoo us out of the mosque. They mutter and grumble if we walk into a bazaar. But the corporal didn't even want to take my dispatch. Am I poison or something? Take a good look at that street. Packed jam with natives down from the hills. Just one light dusting of civilization above savages. There'd be plenty of trouble, sister, if that mob gets out of hand. Well, what would start them off? You know, your paper should have given you a book of rules when they sent you out here. For instance, Joe? For instance, they should have told you that rule number one with these natives is that women don't appear in public until they're married, and then only with their husbands. Well, what's that got to do with me? Plenty. Right now, they're getting a kick out of just looking, but later... Later? What do you mean? I mean, later, the headlines back home would read, Girl Reporter Mysteriously Disappears. I certainly am a big help to you, aren't I, Joe? Well, there's one solution. What's that? We could get married. Married? What are you talking about? I'm talking about turning you from what they think is a camp follower into a respectable Mohammedan wife. Then they wouldn't lay a hand on you. Well, how about it? Well, I... I I don't know. Now, look, you're not in New York now, and don't kid yourself that I'm in love with you. I just want to bring you back alive, that's all. Oh, so you're willing to sacrifice yourself to protect me? It's less trouble that way. I don't know how to thank you, Joe. I don't bother. I won't. And don't you bother about my African reputation either. I'll take care of that myself. Yeah? How? I'll go back to Diradawa. I'd go tonight if I could get a passport. Oh. You go tonight, huh? Yes. You think I'm frightened? Okay, I'll get you a passport. I'll take you to one of the chiefs and fix it up. But uh, just let me do all the talking. See, no matter what he says, you just nod your head and say yes. You understand? Yes. Okay. Come on, Elsie Dinsmore. Okay, say yes. Yes. Bismillah, Illilabad. Good, that fixes everything. Thanks, Chief. Bismillah, Illilabad. I can leave the Ulali now whenever I like? No. But you're safe anywhere I am. What do you mean, anywhere you are? Well, uh, this may be a little shock to you, but you're married. <laughs> married? Yeah, sure. That was a wedding ceremony in Arabic. You're my wife. Why, you... You hijack Now, look, I don't like it any better than you do. When we get to the border, we'll call it quits. Oh, it's all very easy, isn't it? Sure, sure. All I have to do is go to a Mohammedan priest and say I'm tired of it. You know, this is no romance for me, either. Well, the only romantic thing about this marriage to me will be the divorce. We'll have that in English so I can enjoy it. No, no. Ah, oh, but wait a minute. I've told you I got a passport to go beyond Bialali. Paper, no good. Why not? Big fight soon. Only soldiers go through. Okay, you win. Turn them around, boys. Sahib. Sahib. Uh, Sahib, we do not go on? No, this is the end of the line, Ahmed. End of line? Uh, you mean we go back? That's it. You know, back. By the same trail we came through the fort of the Fanfan River? Uh, sure, why not? Well, well, no reason, Sahib, only... Only I must remain here. You see, there was a man I wished to see where we were going, but since we don't go, well, I stay here and wait for him in Bulali. No. Party go, you go. Looks as though you're still traveling with this, Ahmed. Well, Sahib Ransom, I suppose it is the will of Allah. <laughs> Best to wait till nightfall to cross the river. No, nope, Ahmed, we'll take it wide open in daylight. Yeah, but still, you know, by day, the fort is wide. It's safer to stay here under the trees. Who's doing this, me or you? Come on, close up ahead. Keep them together now. Him, she. Ma'am Sahib, don't let him cross the fort. Why not? There's no danger. No message was sent about this crossing. You are wrong. The message was sent, Ma'am Sahib. If we cross here in daylight, the same accident that happened to Jenkins may happen to us. You've changed my dispatch. Yes. I added the information you forgot to send. The location of this ford and what you learned in Bulali that troops must pass through here today. And by this time, the information is going to be received. Sure, look. 
Look, Miss Saeed, the birds of death are already here. See those small black dots in the sky? Joe! Shut up. Shut up, you fool. Shut up! Joe! Would you like him to know that it was your dispatch? What's the matter? What's the argument? Joe, Ahmed, change my dispatch last night. He sent word the troops are using this ford. Yashi, Yashi. Yes, sir. Take the men and withdraw two kilometers. Hurry, take Ackman with you. Turn him over to the first official along the road. Yes, sir. No. No, sir, he blasts him. No. The girl, she... She does much to blame as I. She was hired as I was hired to draw maps and send messages. We... We work together on this. Is that right, Janet? Yes. yes. Oh, so you both played me for a sucker. And now when things are hot, you turn yellow, huh? Yashi, take him. Yes, sir. And you... Joe, please believe. Cut it. You and I are staying here. You're going to have a taste of your own medicine. You helped to dish it out before, and now we'll see if you can take it. I'm not afraid. That's because you've never seen the real thing. You've never seen death falling on you. No place to go, no place to hide. Nothing to do but stand and wait for it to happen. You haven't seen anything, but you'll see it now. Joe, look. The soldiers, the other side of the ford. Nice timing, too. Congratulations on a perfect job, sister. Those poor devils don't stand a chance. Here, take my scarf. Get up on that rise and signal to them to go back. Too late. Bring me my hand camera. They'll cross the river down there by the black boulder. Hurry up, hurry up. Bombing planes, Joe. Bombers, seven of them. They can't hear them across the river. The wind's against them. Get me that case of film magazine, the one with the big white five on it. Hurry, bring it here. Ghastliest stuff ever put on a film. What's the matter? I, I'm hurt. My leg. What? When did you get hit? When I when I brought the the magazine. I... Hold on now. I'm going to move you a little. Easy now. I'm going to make a splinter of these two sticks and tie them tight. Oh. Sorry. Joe, I I I didn't send the map to kill Jank. I. You've got to believe that. Don't talk. Take it easy. I... I didn't have money to get home. And they... They offered me this job and I... I didn't know it had to do with... With all this. Men dying and... Oh, Joe, you've got to believe it. Keep quiet. I'll get you a place in one of those army trucks. They'll be sending the wounded back. You're... You're coming back with me. I'm going back to Bialali with these troops. I got work to do. You hate me. Don't you? No. No, I don't hate you. I feel sorry for you. You got mixed up with something you know nothing about. Well, now you do know. You know that war is not drums and uniforms and glory. It's blood and death. Only don't forget that a swell guy like Jenk had to die to show you how it is. Joe. You'll have a lot of time to think in the hospital. Maybe by the time you get out, this war will be over. You can pray to God it is. Pray to God all war is. So long, sister. Hey, Ransom, you're blocking my scene. I'm sorry, brother. I like this spot. I'm getting my customers a ringside seat for the end of the war. Ten more feet to the blackout and the best newsreel shot of the year. Okay, General, much obliged. See you at the next war, Ransom. Not a chance. This is my bow-off. From now on, I'm writing baseball for the Times Union. I'm tired of taking little pictures of big events. I'm going to sit in the sun at Ebbets Field. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Uh, want to take my picture? Je- no. Now, go on. I wouldn't waste film on you. What's the matter? Don't you like my face? Yeah, it's good enough face as faces go. Oh, Joe. Joe, gee, it's good to see you. Yeah, you... Look kind of good yourself. A little peaked, though. What's the matter? Didn't they treat you good in the hospital? You ought to know. You paid the bills. Oh, they have stool pigeons even in hospitals, huh? Joe. Well, don't thank me. I always was a sucker for a sob sister. Well, what now? I was just going to ask you the same. I'm catching a boat. So I heard. Ebbets Field. Nice assignment. Need anybody to cover the woman's angle? I tried that once. I'm a son of a gun. Things got so tough I had to marry the girl. Oh, that's all right by me. It's part of the job. Okay. It's yours. 
Hey. Hey, what are you crying for? Oh, come on. Brooklyn's not going to be that bad, Mrs. Ransom. Even Brooklyn couldn't be that bad. <laughs> Now, here's John Conti with a message for you. Thank you, George. The big orange disc that you see up above your neighborhood good golf dealers is more than just a sign. It's a promise. Actually, two promises. First, that sign promises the best in gasoline and motor oil. Second, that sign promises friendly, courteous service from an independent merchant who has a real personal interest in taking good care of your motoring needs. Why, just as an example of the little extra services you get at your good golf dealers, there's the golf... Funny Weekly, a free weekly newspaper in full color, bringing you comics, short stories, interesting facts, and other features every single week in the year. This Gulf Funny Weekly has just come out in a convenient new form, with the same size page as popular weekly magazines. Why not drive around to your neighborhood good Gulf dealers tomorrow and have a look at the new Gulf Funny Weekly? It's free for the asking. Just another part of the grand service that you get at the sign of the Gulf Orange Disc. Thank you for fine performances to you, Spencer Tracy, to Clarence Derwent, to Billy Bakewell, to Akim Tamirov, and to you, lovely Olivia de Havilland. You like me on the desert, George? Oh, dramatically, I do indeed. Romantically. Yes, George? Well, now, I know a nice desert. Oh, (laughs) I see. Ahmed Murphy, eh? Ish me, ish me. (laughs) Ah, well, it is the will of Allah. (laughs) Well, George, I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed working on our own show. It means a great deal to me, as I know it does to the rest of the cast, to be a part of the great work undertaken by the Motion Picture Relief Fund and the Gulf Oil Company. We'll be listening to the musical comedy next week with the rest of this program's great audience. Thank you, George, and good night. Good night, Olivia. And thank you, Lawrence Stallings. And don't forget, audience, next week, musical comedy starring Jeanette MacDonald, Robert Taylor, Charles Winninger, and Tyler Brooke. Written by Ralph Block and directed by Robert Z. Leonard. This is George Murphy saying thank you for the motion picture industry and the Gulf Oil Companies. And good night. Next week, same time, same station, the good golf dealer in your neighborhood joins the Gulf Oil Companies in welcoming you to another Screen Guild show with Jeanette McDonald, Robert Taylor, Charles Winninger, and Tyler Brooke. We are grateful to Warner Brothers for Olivia de Havilland, who has just completed Dodge City, to Paramount for Akim Tamirov, and to MGM for George Murphy, Lawrence Stallings, and Spencer Tracy. Mr. Tracy can soon be seen in Northwest Passage. John Conti speaking. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System.